segment, we have Doug Noble here. Before I actually say hi to you, well, I'll say hi, but okay. I want to do this first. <laughs> <laughs> Doug is here with the uh, Florida Museum of Natural History, here to talk about their grossology exhibit that they have going on. Welcome to the show, Doug. Well, thanks so much. Now, this is, you know, I have, I have children. Yes. And, uh, and, and well, tell us about this real quick. Tell us what grossology is. I mean, well, I th okay, it's a, it's a wonderful exhibit. It's hands-on, interactive. Um, I think the subtitle kind of says it all. It's The Impolite Science of the Human Body. The Impolite the Science, Science of the Human of Body. The human body. Ex absolutely. So uh, the, the exhibition is based on a children's book written by a science teacher who was trying to communicate about human anatomy and uh, the body and bodily functions to a bunch of disinterested 10, 12-year-olds. And she suddenly realized that in every one of us is a 10-year-old boy who thinks burping in the classroom is going to bring the house down with the teacher in there, right? Right. So she wrote this book. It was illustrated with wonderful kind of cartoonish characters and things to explain all this stuff. And the book actually adapted beautifully into an exhibit. Okay, so I go to the exhibit. Um, what are some of the things that I'll, because you brought some stuff with you, so I'm going I'm to grab this. Oh yeah, well that's kind of gift store stuff, and we can get to that in a yeah, second. If you walk into the exhibit, the exhibit. What, imagine what it's see? like going into a carnival, and there are all these wonderful animated figures that are sort of bizarre. There are these interactive things. You can play a pinball machine called Gas Attack. Uh, children can slip off their shoes and climb up a slide and slide from the esophagus to the stomach to the small intestines to the colon and come out at the very end. The, the rear. You got it. Right, the yes. bust. You the rectum. Bust. Whatever, okay. you know, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Um, there, there's a walk-in human nose model that's gigantic and you walk in the nose and it shows all the functions of the nose, filtering particles out of the air, the bad things out of the air, warming it before it gets to our lungs. And then all of a sudden, the nose recognizes you're there. And the and nose it goes, and it sneezes. Absolutely, all over you. So that's really kind of the essence of the exhibit. It's, it's this wonderful, interactive nature that you oftentimes don't expect to see in many museums around the nation. Well, I think it's a great thing. It's a fun way to get children to learn about the anatomy. I mean, hands-on, interactive, getting sneezed on. They're going to remember going through the nose and coming out of it and what they pass through to get sneezed on. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, in keeping with the uh, content of the exhibition, I brought a few examples yeah, of things in the gift shop. Okay. Well, first of all, it's a little early for uh, me to give you a valentine, <laughs> but I'd like, I'd like to present this, this to me? you. This is for you. Oh, this is your very own sweet strawberry flavored gummy heart. And the affectionate poem is my love is pure, my love is true, you can have my heart and eat it too. <laughs> so you feast on that gummy heart for a day or two. That's, oh, a, that's a lot of gummy bear equivalents. But I the think. good thing about it, I don't know which camera it's on, but the good thing about it is it actually has the, the glands and, the, and what, the, what are those Yeah, a little bit the aorta, the, the major art, uh, arteries and veins come, uh, going into and exiting the heart well, muscle thank, itself. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the book that Sylvia wrote. Okay. which was a wildly popular children's book, and I highly commend that uh, and to this, moms and dads. And this book, I'm sure, would be available at, at the... Uh, at, at the gift store, at, at our, our museum, sure. And it's not expensive right at all. Pencil. Go ahead and pick it up. And then yeah. you also and then, uh, brought a game. These are little science kits, but they're with a different twist. I remember how boring my chemistry set was, but uh, you can get one about gas, make the stinkiest <laughs> fart ever, and you can get one to make your own mucus. So nice. that's just terrific, isn't it? Now, tell us about the exhibit. When did it start? How has the, uh, the travel been through the museum? How has it yeah. increased? Has it not increased? How well, it be there? It, it, it's worth mentioning that this exhibit has been traveling since the year 2000. And, wow. okay. and in that time, it's gone to dozens and dozens of museums in the United States and overseas internationally. When it leaves our museum on January the 11th, it's already open to the public. It's actually going to Belgium. The museum's actually been to the Science Museum in London. So if you're looking for a seal of approval about the quality of the exhibit, um, I, I think that's a real testament uh, when you look at the very well-known well national and international t uh, institutions that have hosted the exhibit. Um, how, how many how has traffic been since it's been here? Have, has it increased on, on a Saturday afternoon? It started well, last weekend. Yeah, well, it's only been open a little over a week now. But what, let me say this. At the University of Florida, there are people, I know you'll find this difficult to believe, that actually are interested in football. 
Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, that, and we had played a game, and it, it was an unfortunate that we played this <laughs> game as poorly as we did. But we lost to uh, the University of uh, Mississippi, to Ole Miss. But that weekend, normally, on a game day with a game in the middle of the day like that, starting at 12, 12 sure. 30, it's dead at the museum. We brought in over the, uh, 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 that Saturday a uh, huge number of people, and we were, broke all sorts of attendance records for a game day. Sunday was a terrific day, and we're looking forward to an even bigger and better weekend this weekend. Now, there'll be a way this weekend, right? Are, are they, are they, they are away. They're playing, uh, playing Arkansas. So how, what else, besides the grossology exhibit, what else can we see if we go to the Florida Natural Museum of History? There's it's, a butterfly uh, exhibit. Yeah, that, the butterfly rainforest is fantastic. It's uh, one of the best exhibits of its kind in the nation, in my opinion. Uh, it's an immersive experience. You're in a tropical rainforest surrounded by beautiful flowering plants. Uh, at sometimes as many as 2,000 exotic butterflies and native butterflies flitting all around you. So it's, it's just a, a, a terrific museum, high quality permanent exhibits dealing with fossils and uh, the state of Florida. And it's not a bad drive. I mean, Gainesville is only about 80 minutes from here. So I mean, it's not like it's a big deal to go and see the Florida. Are you museum. driving a Ferrari Lamborghini? You can get there in 80 minutes. About 90 minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 I can't believe right. it's not that far. Okay. Give us your, thank you for coming down here today. Give us your URL. How can people get ticket prices, find out more information about the museum? All right. Well, it's um, FLM, it's www.flmnh, Florida Museum Natural History, dot UFL, University of Florida, dot edu. Okay, wonderful. Will you tell my good friend Paul that I said hi? Hi. You will, will you do that for me? Tell yeah. Paul Janice said hi next time that you see him at the museum. It, I'm sorry. Now? Can you tell my friend Paul that I said hi when you go oh, back Paul to Paul Rainey? Sure. Yeah, 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 I, yeah I will. I, I'll do that. I want to come see him, so I okay. might have to bring my kids up there to uh, see the grossology exhibit. Well, I, I wondered how I succeeded in getting on that show. I didn't realize <laughs> there was this uh, this wonderful friendship and influence there is. here. Thank you for driving down here. It's my been pleasure. stimulating to see everything that you've done and, and all the products you brought. So thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks. We'll be right back after this one last break. Media Talk is presented by Tampa Digital Studios, sponsored by the Peter of Loathing, and we'll see you right back here in 60 seconds. <laughs>